A rocket launched from Cape Canaveral, Florida early this morning, carrying the first U.S. lunar lander in decades. CTV National Scott Hurst is following the story and joins us live with the latest on this. Very exciting stuff, Ooh. Scott. Good morning. Uh, can you tell us about this significant launch for the United States? Good morning, Jen. And unlike Bill's mic, everything went smoothly so far at the launch this morning. It is on its way to the moon. And this launch is quite significant. Of course, rocket launches are always incredible. You can feel the rumble for quite a distance away. And at nighttime, when this launched at 218, in the juxtaposition of the night sky with the rockets lighting up the, the early morning sky, I should say, it is quite dramatic and quite incredible. And the stakes are quite high. This could be the first commercial lander to touch down on the moon's surface and the first lunar landing mission to launch from the U.S. since the 1970s, the end of the Apollo mission. So NASA is really looking to regain a foothold in the joint commercial operations. Now, if all goes according to plan, it could still be a couple weeks from now, Jen. The lander should touch down on the moon on February 23rd. And as you might imagine, not a simple task to touch down on the moon either. But so far, everything has gone according to plan from the launch to the trajectory of the lander right now, all planning to land on the moon's surface in a couple weeks, Jen. Remarkable uh, and out of this world, literally. Mm -hmm. uh, Scott, I understand that the payloads that this spacecraft will be carrying are pretty interesting. They <laughs> range from, you know, I don't know, uh, notes to novels to a piece of Mount Everest. To also human remains and DNA samples as well. But let's first start with the scientific experiments that NASA plans to do, and that is to gather information from the moon's surface to attempt to send people, to send humans back to the moon later this decade, and that is the Artemis III mission, but before that, the Artemis II mission. So all these missions really build on each other in terms of gaining as much knowledge as possible. The Artemis II mission plans to send crews around the moon later this year, and including in that mission will be a Canadian astronaut, Jeremy Hansen, so that should be exciting to watch as well. That's later this year. So everything tries to build on each other in terms of the scientific experiments experiments that will be undertaken on this mission. But, Jen, as you mentioned, some bizarre and more unique things as part of the payload, including human remains and DNA samples from two commercial space burial companies. Mm -hmm. And some of these DNA samples and human remains include former U.S. presidents John F. Kennedy, George Washington, and Dwight Eisenhower, and also the creator and several cast members of the original Star Trek TV series. So quite a mix of payload on this mission. Mm -hmm. It's almost like they're putting a time capsule on the space <laughs> capsule. So uh, very Inception-like. CTV National's Scott Hurst. Thanks so much, Scott. All right, Jen, thanks.